since this is my first demo, a small introduction. My name is Sudarshan Kesav Narayanan, and I am working as a SharePoint consultant at an entity based in Singapore. So this demo is regarding uh, advanced uh, comments box, where we can, uh, uh, since uh, everyone knows that there is a comment box available in the modern pages, so a slight initiative from one of my client that they need to add some attachments and some features on that comment box. So we come up with the custom uh, comments box to add it to the uh, modern pages. So these are all some uh, features on the advanced features. Uh, one, the comments can be classified as uh, popular, new as holders and attachments, and uh, they can add uh, files, video, videos, office file formats, and they can also uh, maintain the attachment size. They can configure the attachment uh, size and uh, the users can modify their own comments. They can like and reply the nested comments and they can also delete their own comments unless there is no reply. And there is hashtag and ping users and there is a new icon functionality where it will represent the today's comments. And these are all some supporting artifacts. I have used uh, a plugin uh, which is developed by Vima Solutions, jQuery comments. And uh, the other thing is uh, have used uh, uh, PNP, the SP2, two versions and uh, property controls, jQuery moment. And there are two pages, which is an inbuilt page available in uh, online, which is doc.aspx and ember.aspx. These pages are mostly used for the preview purpose. So let's move on to the demo. So this is a test page. where uh, This is where I have added my comments control in the test page. Where you can see here, uh, you can classify the comments and you can also classify the attachments. And there are a few properties which I have implemented, uh, like uh, the daytime format and the profile fixtures, which is round or square, and uh, the navigation, whether uh, you need to enable these navigations or not, and the attachment, whether you need to enable the attachment for the end users to upload. So if you are uh, enabling the attachments, you have to select the document library and the allowed file extension where you can specify whatever the file extension, but the preview is supported uh, only for the files which are compatible with the two pages. And you can also restrict the file size to be added as an attachment. And there are uh, other properties like uh, you can uh, ping the users and edit the comments. So once this edit comment is enabled, then you can delete their own comments and uh, like and uh, like it and there is a reply and hashtags and there is a preview where uh, without the preview you can just see the file name and once you click on the file name it will uh, download it so once you enable the preview you can see the preview of the file inside the comments box and for example if i am uh, uploading some excel so you can see the all the preview. And you can like it. And uh, one more thing is, uh, this comments web part can be added as a uh, web part to the normal modern page and you can save it as a template. So whatever the, so move, the template, when you try to create a page using the template, you can use this comments box. So here I have created a template with this, uh, comments box and then I have disabled the existing out of the box comments so that I can use this uh, custom comments box and then you can create the pages. Uh, so this is it. So here you can uh, view the replies and you can uh, post it, you can delete it. And uh, you can also uh, ping the users like uh, Okay, so this is it. And you can uh, find my sample uh, here, the link uh, JS Advanced uh, Commenting. So that's it, Visa. There were three questions actually on the on the chat, if you don't mind, there were three questions right there. Can you 
can you actually slightly cover the, the code as well? What's the, the learnings yes. in there? Uh, is it based on React? Is it based on something else? Yes. So Sorry. Oh, and you're using the MPHS. No worries. No yeah. worries. Okay. So this is a, a purely a JavaScript uh, web part, and this is the TS files where I have used uh, the property controls and a few of the controls, uh, and I have uh, used the actual JS uh, from the jQuery commands.js, which has been uh, configured in the config.js file as an external uh, JavaScript libraries. And this JS internally used the text complete. So I have enabled those text complete also. Here I have imported it. And these are all the properties I have declared it. And uh, one more thing, uh, whenever you start adding this web part for the first time, it will check for the list and then uh, it will try to create the list automatically. So and further on uh, proceeding, it will check and then it will display the comments. So this is a render portion where I have checked and created the list. And uh, the initialize comments, this is where I am initializing the control. And I have used the require uh, format to use that JS and then initialize the comments control here. These are all the properties which has been provided by the jQuery comments. And I have slightly customized the jQuery comments.js to uh, get the uh, SPFX, uh, that is the site URL, and append the doc.aspx and then the ember.aspx for the preview purposes. And these are all some of the predefined methods which uh, can see here. So these are all uh, some of the methods and functions available. So I have just used that methods and I have slightly customized it. And I have also used a separate uh, SP helper class where I have used the selective imports and then uh, define all the functions whichever communicated with SharePoint in a separate file. And then, uh, and then I have called this one. Is there anything, Visa? Yeah, I think that's really, really cool. Don't don't close it yet. So a few questions and comments and just kind of uh, observations. So so using the SharePoint list, absolutely uh, a, a convenient way of doing things. Now, SharePoint list can store up to millions of items. The question is, though, as long as you don't load more than 5,000 in a one, um, I'm not sure if the web part is taking that into account uh, in the in the thing. Um, yes. But it's uh, if here. Are, yeah. Yes. I am storing the as a JSON. I'm not storing each and individual item for one page. Yeah, I'm storing it as a JSON using the multi-line uh, text control. And I have checked for more than 5,000 users and it is working fine. Yeah. So. And and obviously then the JSON is pretty big, so that might that's one consideration as well. But but again, really clever implementation because out of the box commenting is actually implemented in somewhat similar ways. Uh, so and it has a much more limited uh, experience. So this is really really cool web part, uh, really really cool implementation, and and nice way of dealing with the with the storage um, in the in the there's a question related. Is there a limit on multi-line comment field? I can't remember, but I think it's if there is, it's pretty massive. Um, it, it's basically SQL Server behind the scenes, uh, which is storing the list data uh, in that case as well. Um, but I think uh, it's a 64k limit on multi-line. Okay, thank you, Jim. Um, I can't remember all of that stuff, so all good. Um, I think that's it now. Uh, so really, really great uh, sample. Mm -hmm.